channel. My name's Shelley. Um, thank you for joining me today. Um, today I'm going to speak to you about two makes that I've done um, this month so far. I still haven't got round to making my daughter's trousers. I get distracted and find other patterns that I want to make. So I've made a couple of um, different patterns that I thought I was going to this month. One of them which I'm wearing now which um, is a little cami top because it's been so hot I thought I wanted to make some really nice summer clothes so a little cami top called the Ogden um, cami and it's actually a pattern it's a PDF pattern that you get online it's a lovely pattern that's it there I'll just show it to you quickly um, it's got little strap little straps here it's got a little v-neck at the top here like this and it's got a v-neck at the back as well and it's nice and flowy um, you have you have to do it you have to do it in a nice flowy material so that it sits nicely but yeah I'm really pleased with it so I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute and to go with it I made um, some clots I've been wanting to make some clots for a very very long time and I've been looking everywhere for a pattern and a few months ago I got a free sewing pattern with one of the magazines I can't quite remember which magazine it came from but it's the Butterick 6178 clots pattern and I've made view D that one there um, which has just got the darts in it so I'm going to review them for you now um, I'll, pop a pic I'll pop a video in just to show you um, what the whole outfit looks like so you can see it completely and yeah I'm really really pleased with both things. Ogden cami and I really really love this pattern it really is nice I'm definitely going to make some more of them it's a real lovely little summer top um, I made it out of this florally um, fabric which I got from eBay and I had a look yesterday and there is st some still available um, but it comes in all different colors so I'll leave a link below to all of the fabrics that I'm using I have had some comments asking me to put the links and I, I'm really sorry that I have been forgetting to do that but I'll definitely remember hopefully from now on to try and put those links in for you and as I say I think they have still got some more of this fabric it's a lovely flowery fabric um, this is a cre obviously the creamy version but they, it comes in different colors um, I like this uh, pattern it's a lovely pattern um, I hadn't heard of the make before I actually saw somebody on, on another YouTube video um, wearing it and making it so I thought I'd have a go as it's been so hot recently and it really is um, a simple pattern to make it says it's for advanced beginners uh, which I would agree with because there are a couple of little um, issues that, di uh, that did cause me some problems um, the pattern comes with um, only four pieces, which is really nice, and the straps as well, so I suppose that makes it five pieces. The straps are really easy to construct together, but that's the issue when actually putting them into the garment. Um, what you have to do is, once you've sewn all the garment up the sides, you've then got to try and take one strap from one side through across to the back of the garment and actually I found that quite tricky to do because you've got to be really careful that you don't twist the strap as you take it through and and up into the back of the garment it's actually quite hard to explain to do um, you, you leave two holes in the actual top you sew you sew the sleeve seams together and you sew the neck seam together and then you leave two little holes in the top parts of the um, where the straps go and you've got to actually put the straps in making sure that they're not twisted and actually I found that quite tricky and I think that for a beginner um, they would find that tricky too because the instructions I felt for that 
weren't too brilliant so just watch for that but the rest the rest of the make was really really simple um, because I use such a flowy fabric I decided to make a rolled hem on mine um, it was easy I mean I to be honest I, I've not really done rolled hem so I thought I'll give it a go but I found it much easier than having to try and turn the hem up, press it, and then hem it. Once I got it into that hemming foot, um, it was fine. So I'm pleased with that. Yeah, so this is it, again, as I say. Just show it to you again, if you can see it. And it's really nice and flowy. I really like it. And it's got this V at the back, and this, uh, at the front, sorry, V at the front, and this V at the back. Um, I found, that um, because it's got the V at the back, I've had to wear a strapless bra with it because it did show your bra strap a little bit, and I'm not I'm not a fan of um, showing bra straps, so I'm wearing a strapless bra with mine, but that that's not an issue really, and. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I really like it. The other thing is, because the front and the back are so similar, you must try and um, keep an eye on what is the front and the back as you are sewing it. And then at the end, I've put a little label in the back of mine to show me the back, because it's it's hard to decipher which is the front from the back. So try and keep, try and keep that... Um, so that you know what it so you know what's the front and the back throughout sewing the pattern i just used my frixium pen which i love and wrote on it so as soon as you iron over that it comes off so yeah i'm really pleased with it um it comes in quite a few sizes and um as i say choose choose uh, the size to your measurements um don't choose your shop bought size as i always say choose the size to your measurements and i traced off the pattern as well so that i can use it for different sizes so I like this pattern and I'm definitely going to be making some more of them. Um, I, as I said, I hadn't heard this make before, Ogden. Um, I think they're an American company and you just type in Ogden Cami on Google and you can uh, find it and print it off as a PDF pattern. So yeah, I like that. I'm pleased, I'm pleased with this make and I'm going to make some more in different uh, colours. To go with the um, cami, as I said, I thought I would like a pair of culottes. So um, I found the Butterick uh, 6178 pattern, which came from the magazine. Um, I can't remember which magazine it came from, but uh, they looked like just the type of culottes that I wanted to make. So I thought I'd have a go. Um, again, I got the fabric from um, eBay and I'll leave a link below. However, um, the fabric that I bought, it is kind of a linen look fabric and I wanted uh, like a pair of ivory creamy color. And when I got the fabric, it, it has come out pretty sheer. So you can, if you look closely, actually see through the fabric. So you've got to wear, if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy this color, uh, um, you've got to actually wear a really light color underwear because I tried it on with darker underwear yesterday and it was not a good look so um, you've got to wear a nice light color underwear with it and I, I'm, I'm really pleased with them actually they've come out very very nicely um, they're, they're just really really wide at the bottom they've got a nice little waistband which is here you can see put on and also it's got um, pockets front pockets here which are simple to put on I'm, I'm kind of into pockets now I like them so um, they're the clots and um, Hopefully you can see on the, oh, again I'll put the video in so you can see them at full length and I really like them and again um, these were um, okay to make, um, it wasn't a concealed invisible zip which I usually like to do, it was just an ordinary zip which I find a little bit more trickier but I did it and um, you just follow their instructions. I wouldn't say that these cannots really are ideal for beginners although I think experienced dressmakers will find them um, pretty simple. I think you need a little bit more experience than just perfect beginners um, to make these. I think you need to be a bit more um, of an advanced beginner really because it's got the waistband and the zip that you need to put in um, and also the pockets. Um, the instructions weren't brilliant so I think you need some experience to actually understand the instructions for this pattern. 
So the pattern comes in four views and I did view D uh, which is the longer ones. I might actually have a go at making the shorter ones next time. Um, some of them have got pleats in the front, some of them have just got darts. So it's, it's your preference really. It's got a nice sizing um, range all the way from size 6 all the way to size 12 which is really nice and again choose your measurements. I mean my shop bought size is a size 10-12 and for this pattern I had to do their size 14 which fitted my measurements so again all patterns are different so I really will urge you to do that. Um, I used a um, gutterman and thread to sew them together because I've used all the cheap threads that you can buy and I just find that they're not they're not great, they, they break the needle and um, I get looping in my fabric. So I always like to try Gutterman uh, threads now, I think they are the best threads to use. So I use that to sew them up together and I sewed, I sewed the clots actually probably within about three or four hours. I cut them out yesterday, the day before, and I sewed them up in about three hours. So not, not, too, not too long actually. So they are the couple of makes that I've made in the last couple of weeks. Um, I've really got to get going with my daughter's sew over it um, ultimate trousers. I'm definitely going to try and get those done. But another pattern that I've been distracted with is the um, Astoria pattern that I've been seeing people making. So I'm desperate to have a go at that as well. So you never know, I might get that done shortly too uh, for one of my next makes. But I keep seeing all these lovely patterns that people are making on YouTube. So all the ideas that I get for making the ones that I want go out the window because I think, oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. I'm going to make that one instead. So, um, yeah, so who knows what I'll bring to you next time. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed uh, looking at what I've made um, within the last couple of weeks. I would, I would say have a go at these two, um, these two patterns. They're really, really nice and go really nicely together. The top, the actual cami, goes really nicely with the culottes, even though it's actually quite a short cami. Because the waistband of the culottes is quite high, it actually sits really, really nice over the top of the cloth so I'm really really pleased with that and I think it will look quite nice with shorts as well so yeah so that's it um, I will be bringing you some more make shortly I don't know what um, thank you so much for watching again thank you for all my lovely comments that everybody's um, keeps sending me and all your ideas that you keep offering I'm really really appreciate it I try and answer all your comments as much as I can and um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't done so already please could you put a thumbs up for this video and subscribe and I'll see you all again shortly with the next makes so bye for now bye bye